you know what? Let's talk about Chad Prosser's subject before we dive into the scream stuff, okay? <laughs> um, now, Chad uh, had this idea. He he messaged me on my Patreon page, and he said um, he's a big Freddy fan. We're all big Freddy fans, right? I mean, I freaking love the guy. I've always said if I could have uh, one horror icon, like if I could have that wish to have one horror icon's movie right now, it would be Freddy. And I'm a Halloween nut, but uh, I'm kind of Halloweened out, all right? Don't worry, I still got all those great Halloween movies that I can go back. I enjoyed the David Gordon Green trilogy, but I think I'm ready to take a break. And I want some Freddy in my life. And I think we're going to get some um, some Friday here pretty soon, which is nice. Um, before I touch on what Chad wants out of A Nightmare on Elm Street, which direction do you guys want? Okay, like, do you want them to start anew? Do you want them to do the whole um, requel thing? Uh, like you know that and to me i think that is where they would go right now if the, if we get another nightmare movie within the next couple of years mark my words it's going to be a requel of some sort because requels are huge right now okay it worked for scream it worked for halloween why wouldn't it work for nightmare okay um my only issue my only issue would be um heather langenkamp you know she's not jamie lee curtis all right, and, and I've I've met Heather Langenkamp. She is an absolute sweetheart. Nancy is an icon and a half. Um, she just hasn't really done anything, and and I'm just talking about uh, box office. I'm not talking about the quality of the movie. The quality of the movie could be great with Heather Langenkamp coming back. Okay, she still fits. She still looks great, but I I'm just thinking they wouldn't make that scream money or that Halloween money um with they need of course they need i think robert england back who also is an issue, an issue because he is way up there in age okay so i think there's a few factors that are keeping nightmare out of theaters right now you know and i think there's the the big question mark you know which way do we go do do we do the requel thing do we do the the remake thing i think we should start fresh if i'm being honest um but having said that, Chad's um, idea actually is a pretty damn good one. And I think this might be monetarily the best way to go. So what do you guys think about this? Um, Chad's idea, not my idea. Let's kick off from Dream Warriors, okay? There is no more Dream Master. There is no more Dream Child and, uh, you know, and so on, right? Especially Freddy's dead. Because Dream Warriors had that perfect balance of dark, evil Freddy and kind of playful, uh, fun, let's have a sleepover Freddy, okay? Um, he, he's still, I mean, th think about that one scene where the, the one guy, he's got the freaking, you know, Freddy's the puppet and he's got these uh, bloody veins coming out of his wrists and, you know, Freddy, I mean, that's just great stuff. It's really creepy. And, uh, th yeah, that just, that's a dark and evil Freddy. Uh, he's sinister, but he still has that dark comedy edge. Um, and also Dream Warriors is probably one of the best horror sequels out there, right? Um, yes, it did introduce a lot of those, um, one-liners, Freddy one-liners, but the one, the ones that it has, they work, you know, welcome to prime time, bitch. All the every time Freddie dropped a one-liner, it was awesome. You you were like, yes, great writing, funny scene, but it wasn't a one-liner that took me out of the the um, the emotion, the tension in the movie. You know, it, it kept me going. Um, Nancy is dead. You know, that's another reason why I think it's a good idea to jump right off of Dream Warriors uh, because you can you can introduce a fresh new cast you could have that sequel be in the present day and uh you know some of these characters could be relatives of the 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 dream warriors now i'm thinking back and help me out guys did did all of the dream warriors live um i no no they didn't i know because tara didn't live you know what a rush um 
the uh, <laughs> what was the guy in the wheelchair? <laughs> I'm the wizard man. What was it? Was it the wizard master? He didn't live. So I think like what, like maybe a half of them didn't live or something like that. And then Kincaid and Joey got killed off in the next movie. But the next Kincaid and Joey could still be alive if you discount the next movies, right? So yeah, Chris, you're right. They are all dead. But keep in mind, four does not exist now. Okay, so everybody that lived in three is still alive. Okay, so Kristen Kincaid, Ben Urban says there, and Joey. I mean, they could e- they could easily be in this next movie, which I think would be cool because you could have some, you could satisfy the fans, but you could also kick it off with a, a, a great new story, and just the idea of the Dream Warriors. That's an idea that you can you know you can take that ball and run with it. All right, there's so many. You could make freaking a trilogy out of that, which that was Chad's idea. He said, "I would love to have a new trilogy." If you're gonna, if you're gonna do this, don't just do one movie. Okay, go ahead and write out a, a treatment for an entire trilogy because that just shows your audience that you are willing to back your. You know, you, you my my script is so good that I'm willing to back back it up and give you two more movies out of it. Okay, so as Erica says, we're the dream warriors. <laughs> You'd have to have the docking in there now, guys. What if what if you had, um, and I'm just thinking out loud here. What if you had um, Ice Nine Kills do a cover of Dream Warriors? Holy shit! Can you imagine that if Ice Nine Kills did a cover of Dream Warriors and they can make it their own style? So, what do you guys think? Um, do you like this idea? After I've told it to you, do you like Chad's idea of having a trilogy of movies that take place after Dream Wars? And guys, if this trilogy turns out to be like really amazing, then you have, you know, your first six movies are completely like, you know, top notch, right? Because I love the first three Nightmare movies, including two. I think two is highly underrated. As a matter of fact, Chad mentioned you know, yeah, we can have the Dream Wars, but also we can have freaking Jesse back if we wanted to. You, you don't have to throw him in the first movie, but you could maybe throw him in the second movie. Uh, you could have Kim back because Jesse and Kim lived, right? So there's there's a lot of character exposition in there to pack a punch. Uh, there's, um, I mean, there's so many different ways they could go story wise with this. So. Chad, I think he, I think you got a great idea. Did I say Kim? Kim Myers, Lisa. Her name's Lisa. Thank you, thank you, Chris. Damn it! I, sometimes I get actors' names mixed up with the character names. It happens. All right. But Brandon the Beldum says, "Would you welcome Monica Kina and Jason Ritter from Freddy vs. Jason into a new Nightmare sequel?" Absolutely, absolutely. I loved both of them, especially Monica Kina in uh, Freddy vs. Jason. And you know what? You know, Freddy versus Jason, really, all you had to do is just give us this great freaking knockout, drag out fight. But aside from the two horror icons, they really offered up some great characters, too, you know? So, and, and it wasn't, it was uh, Kelly Rollins, it was Monica Kina, Jason Ritter. Um, uh, what's the girl from American Mary, guys? That's um, uh, Catherine Isabel. Yeah, Catherine Isabel. Who doesn't love her, right? Not saying that, you know, Catherine Isabel died in the movie, but yeah, that that's Freddy versus Jason is awesome. I love that movie. It's it's probably one of the funnest nightmare movies. Would you guys agree with that? Like as far like that movie, if you want to reach in and just I need something really fun to throw in. Freddy versus Jason. I jump right to it, you know? Uh, Richard Strange says Elm Street 2 had awesome characterization for Freddy. Yeah, my, Freddy is his best, I think, in Elm Street 2, you know? And also, I think it has one of the best nightmare sequences with uh, the school bus. That that scene scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, that school bus scene. you know. And boy, is it a great way to start off a movie, hearing Freddy's knives scrape the uh, the seats on the bus. And he's like ripping the seats as he goes by, too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great scene. Kelly Raw did I say I said Rollins, didn't I? Come on, check yourself. You better check yourself. <laughs> I said Kelly Rollins. <laughs> I got your nose. 
I just watched Sebastian says I just watched Freddy versus Jason like how you watch Kong versus Godzilla just there for the fight yeah and like I said Monica Kina pretty damn easy on the eyes okay pretty damn easy on the eyes I wouldn't even like with Chad's idea I wouldn't even mind if they included Monica Kina in there you know you could still say Freddy versus Jason is part of that world because I don't think Freddy vs. Jason references the fourth movie and on, you know? It, it kind of references the first, really just the the first, maybe a little bit of Dream Warriors in there, but I think it could work. I think it could work. You're at the end of the video. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this uh, DD Live clip. What that is is after I do a live stream, I usually cover news items or just topical type stuff or sometimes even reviews, top tens, whatever. And I clip them out for your convenience so you can get bite-sized episodes from the live stream. So now that you're at the end, you can uh, you can look over here or here somewhere and you can click on the playlist that I have for the DD Live clips and then you can watch other episodes. There's probably at least like 50 of them by now, maybe 100, who knows. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, love you.